It's beer and food o'clock on me, Lel Craft Beer, and today we're going to be pairing a Frey Bentos Meaty Puds Just Steak Microwaves in Three Minutes with a Bellhaven Brewery's Twisted Thistle IPA coming in at 5.6% ABV, 330 can. Uh, let's get the meaty puds in the microwave. Apparently, just by looking at this, very simply, if you want to pause the video just to see how to do this, you just pull the lid off. Put it in the microwave, three minutes, job done. Not really, if I'm honest, I've been intrigued by this for a long time. Let's get it open. Hang on a minute. Turn upside down and microwave. On a plate, right, I got it. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at that. Look at that big lump of fat in the middle. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, because there's still metal on the side, you can't put metal in the microwave. Blow my house up. What did I say? Turn upside down. Well, let's blow the microwave up. I can't, I, I'm not sure if this is meant to come out. Let's see if it sparks. It's okay. Okay, so that can't be metal. Unless it's that blowing up in a minute. It might just blow my face off now any minute. Um, okay, let's get this Twisted Thistle IPA out. It's only three minutes in the microwave. Get it in a glass, see what we get. I'm not really an instructions type of person. I'm a bit damn dare, just crack on, get on with it. <laughs> Thistle IPA, we'll get into the back of the can in a moment, What's, is it actually thistle in the beer? I imagine it is. Um, the twisted grapefruit, the twisted pineapple, all had twisted grapefruits and, and, and pineapples in the beer, so I imagine there is thistle in this beer. We've got a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation, clear, amber coloured beer, let's get the aroma. Yeah, there's certainly like an organic, like definite kind of Scottish aroma to it. When I say Scottish, I mean like Scandinavian, Scottish, wet, like a wet, earthy, spicy, peppery, floral type aroma. A bit like ultraviolet. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah, really kind of, yeah, really raw and really bitter. I think the bitterness is coming from the amount of hops that's been put in the beer, plus the thistle. I think the, the thistle itself has added some bitterness to the beer. A little bit sweet to begin with, uh, nice and grainy and, and biscuity in the, in the beginning and the middle. And then it's all about that wonderful kind of raw bitterness. Friday afternoon here in the UK, and yeah, this is a pretty good beer to get started with on my lunch hour. 15 seconds left on the bomb in the microwave. Enough time for me to read out what's on the can. Twisted Thistle is our flagship American style IPA. We use loads of Challenger, Cascade, and Hersbrucker hops to produce a beer 
that greets you with an amazing nose full of grapefruit aroma and follows up with a refreshingly bitter bite. Enjoy it cold with good friends. Uh, ingredients. I need to find the ingredients. I really want to know if there's... I imagine it is. I imagine there's thistle in this beer. Yeah, I'm going to say there's thistle in this beer. Uh, their flagship IPA, American IPA, 5.6% ABV. It's nice. It's a really nice beer. It, there's enough going on. A little bit of orange, a little bit of kind of like spiciness going on. Um, let's, get, let's see what's happened here. Electric shock now. Nope. Bloody hell, how are you meant to... Are you meant to just like squeeze around and... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh man. Right. Okay. This is the first food review that's definitely gone wrong. But I mean, I don't think I've done anything wrong. Ah, there we go. Mm. If I'm completely honest, I think I would prefer the the pastry is definitely not cooked. I'm gonna bang that in for another two minutes. I'm gonna kill myself. Or poison myself. Surely that pastry's look at the oil in there. Ooh, blind me. Yeah, I'm gonna tip it in the sink. Look at that oil. It's like biting into a heart attack, they say. Okay, I've done the, I've done the regular free bentos pies. Um, they're actually, they go in the oven for like 40 minutes. And the pie crusts, they do proper things. It, it becomes a proper pie. Um, the meat's nice and yeah it seems all really good that seems like a complete mess it's like they've gone on oh, we need to do something different we need to like make something that goes in the microwave but it so far that doesn't seem like it, it kind of works and you can see by the review you can see by by the minutes I went by the three minute mark it asked for 400 grams of, of, of meat um, it certainly it didn't kind of want to come out Maybe it was meant to come out of the pot the first time round when I was... Well, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. So Bellhaven's flagship IPA, Twisted Thistle IPA. 5.6% ABV, uh, Scottish brewery. Uh, the obvious comparison then to an American IPA from Scotland would be Brewdogs, Brewdogs Punk IPA. Is this as good as Brewdogs Punk IPA? I say it's level pegging. I say it's level pegging. Um, I like the bitterness on the back end. It's got a stonking amount of hops on the back end, nice and bitter. Um, if it has got thistle in, yeah, that, that kind of floralness comes through. Spicy, peppery, nice biscuit malt flavors. Making noises now. Yeah, it's really good. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, you know. well, blimey. Um, I mean, I couldn't help it that the, the pastry didn't want to come out. It wouldn't come out when it was uncooked, and it barely wanted to come out when it was cooked. It reminds me of, like, this, this feels like opening a can of dog food and, and, and trying to fluff it up a bit. Trying to, trying to make, it, make it sound better than it actually is. Um, look at the oil. Can you see next to the pie? Look at all that oil. 
I mean, I suppose they needed that oil for it. Ah, it's hot. Um, they needed that to spit to slip out. Um, oh, here goes nothing. Here we go then. Let's grab a big bit of this meat. The re the meat's really red. Look at the, look at the colour on the meat. It's cool. Just steak. Yeah, what steak though? Beef steak? Should we have a look? Uh, beef fat water. Oh, it is beef. 17% beef. Let's uh, play top. Let's. let's... Uh, oh. uh. Come on, let's get in. Let's be a man about it. Gelatine. Fatty, meaty, beefy. Oh yeah, that's boiling. Um, I've already decided. I'm going to give the I'm going to give the meat to the dog, and because it's my dinner, I'm going to attempt to eat the pastry. I need a glove. Plate's really hot. I don't know, maybe Frey Bentos had it right the first time where they were putting their pies in tins. You open the tin and put it in the oven for 40 minutes. Maybe the convenience of the microwave has is, is like completely sent it off course and it's made it. I don't know, let's try it. It seems, it doesn't look very edible. It doesn't look very appetising. Look at that. Pastry's done nothing. It's done nothing. I, can, I could microwave that for the next two years and it would never like fluff up like pastry. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, they've not really shown a real, a real, you know, if you were proud of this product, you would show a real big look at the pie, wouldn't you? That's, compared to all of that marketing and fluff around there, there's a small amount of kind of picture of a pie there. And yeah, the pastry still don't look great there if you look at it. It doesn't look like puff pastry, does it? Uh, I'm I'm gonna enjoy the beer a lot more than I enjoy my dinner today. Well, oh. in fact, I might just make something else. And I'm not a person to waste. I'm not a person to waste stuff. I very rarely waste stuff. I I always kind of try and eat what I've made or what I've bought and made in this case bought and chucked in the microwave but yeah by far of all the foods that I've been reviewing lately this is the worst by an absolute long shot it's almost unedible that is fried bentos's meaty puds just steak microwaves in three minutes and I mentioned earlier tonight, I'm not really a fan of microwaving stuff. I, I very rarely microwave stuff. It all either goes on the pan or it goes in the oven. Shame. Shame. I was looking forward to that. The dog will eat it. He'll have a nice time. Let's rate the beer. I may have already rated it. I said it's kind of on par with Brewdog's Punk IPA. Um, it's nice. It's nice, but I'm in a bit of a bad mood now. I'm like, I've got nothing to eat. I'm hungry and I've got to make something. I'm going to rate the beer. I'm going to rate the beer. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. And this meaty puds thing by Frey Bentos. Yeah, it's one of the most unedible things I think I've ever tried to eat in my life. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. 
Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.